Yeah, felt great. Really good. Yeah, performing really solid this. Hi guys, this is Matt and welcome back to the channel. This week we are reviewing the best irons for low handicap golfers of 2023. So I've picked the three best selling irons in my pro shop this year uh, and we're going to put them all to the test. We're going to hit five shots with each one and we're going to see which one comes out on top. Now in terms of a, a player's iron, an iron for a low handicap golfer, it's not necessarily all about speed and distance, it's more about looks, feel uh, and distance control. Okay, so the three I've picked are the TaylorMade P7 at MC, uh, this is the iron I'm currently playing. Uh, we've got the Shrixen ZX7 uh, and we've got the Ping I-59. So three very popular clubs at my, uh, at my club. Um, it, before we hit them, I mean, I think it's fair that we kind of take a look at the aesthetics uh, in terms of what they look like. Um, if, if we start with the Ping, uh, I think Ping have worked hard on improving uh, aesthetics. You know, this i59, uh, it's got a nice sort of sleek look to it. Um, the, the ZX7 I think looks great, you know, I think the, the Shrixen lineup this year has been really strong um, and this Mark II version of the ZX7 looks even better uh, than its predecessor uh, and then P7MC again looks really good, I, as you would expect in this category, all, all three irons looking pretty strong. Uh, looking down, um, you know, for me it's between TaylorMade and Shrixen. Um, but I think in terms of looks, for, for me, Shrixen gets it. I think, you know, real kind of classy looking club. Um, really looks, you know, looks very, very nice on the iron. Aesthetics, you know, Shrixen uh, take, it, take it for me. So we're going to start off with TaylorMade P7MC. As I said, this is the club I'm using at the moment. Uh, really enjoyed playing it this year. Um, not the longest, as you would expect from this category, uh, but it, the, the distance control has been really good for me. Um, so let's let's hit five shots and let's uh, let's compare the three. So feel-wise, it is really good. Um, you know, I am I am finding the distance control in particular has been great play, playing with them. Again, really solid. And you'll see there the first two carry distances, 156, 158. So we, we're getting some good, good consistency. Yeah, 156 again. So yeah, really strong, really strong. Definitely finding, you know, for me, you, you're probably looking at a five, six handicapper and below for this type of club. Because um, you, you want to be relatively consistent with your ball striking. Squirted it out right, but again, 158 carry. Really impressive. Just one more. heavy at the end. Uh, not ideal for the purpose of the test, uh, but let's let's leave it in there. Again, you, you're going to find that with, you know, with, with these smaller heads that you're not going to get the forgiveness basically. So um, if, if you do find, you know, you kind of have good days and bad days, ball striking, this type of line is probably not, not the one for you. It's probably that level above uh, in terms of forgiveness. Let's move on to the I-59. So for me, it's probably not been as popular as I thought it would be. Uh, and, and I do think the other ping irons have probably influenced that. The I-525 was very strong, um, as is the I-230. And I, th I think that's impacted on the, the I-59 sales um, because it is a lovely looking club. Um, it, it's got the tech that it has in, in the other clubs, Micromax grooves, it's got this perimeter weighting, 
uh, Hydro Pearl finish. So it, it's got all the good tech in there, but the other the other irons seem to have uh, seem to have kind of had kind of more interest, should we say? Okay, let's have a look at this. So first impressions, ball speed jumped up. Feel didn't feel as good as the tailor made, although I'm not totally sure on the strike. Felt good. Yeah, definitely longer than the tailor made this. Got a good bit longer, at least five yards in carry. Ball speed, two or three miles an hour quicker. Yeah, felt great, really good. Yeah, performing really solid this. Definitely gone a little bit under the radar, I would say, this year. Just pulled it a little bit. Not too bad though. One more. Really good, that was a pleasure to hit. Um, that edges it over tailor made for me. Although I am playing tailor made, it uh, you know obviously running basically on five shots, but that that did feel really good. Um, okay, finally Shrixen ZX7. Again, you know this the, the Shrixen has 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 been a, a surprise package really for me this year. Uh, the ZX5 in particular has performed really well. That has that added for, uh, forgiveness. Uh, ZXN, very, very similar though. It's got this pure frame technology. Um, it, it just looks the part, you know, it looks really, really good. Um, but let's, uh, again, let's compare it and add it to the two. Solid. Yeah, really nice. A bit more ball speed, I think, than the uh, other two. Good carry there. Exactly the same carry, 168, performing well. Feels good. Ah, heavy. So we are going to see a little bit of drop off, 154, a little bit of ground first. And as I said, you're not going to get that forgiveness on these, uh, this category of club. A little bit off the bottom, but not bad. Still 164 carry. Last one. Yeah, good hit again there. So th three, three clubs, uh, three strong clubs this year. Um, initial thoughts are that um, for me, Taylor made in third position there. Uh, I think Ping and Tricks are the two, the two that edge it for me, and I think that's more so on the distance. Okay, uh, but let's let's have a closer look. Let's let's look at the dispersion. So if we just show on. So we've got again, you know, the the tailor-made ring in the white there. Clearly, that one heavy shot uh, is affecting it. The other. The other uh, shots are all very tight together, um, and ZX7 circle is very very tight, uh, but missing a bit right. Uh, and then the the I59 actually looks better for for, for accuracy in terms of closer to that centre line. Um, let's just take a closer look, and I actually think because that tailor made last shot that was really heavy. I think we just take that out just for the purpose of comparing some of the uh, the speed numbers, but we will obviously factor it in. Um, so just going through the speeds, you know, um, club speed was similar, you know, 80, 82.3 with a tailor made, 83.9, uh, ping 84.1, Shrixen. But the big thing for me is looking at the distance, uh, sorry, the ball speed. 112, uh, which is a little bit low to be honest, 
115.1 and 114.7 so better speeds with the, the Shrix and, and, and the ping and that for me is really important because you'll see in terms of the distances average carry with the tailor-made uh, taking out the bad one 157 and then we got 164.2 164.0 so the ping and Shrixen are that good sort of seven yards longer which can't be sniffed that really uh, hence I would uh, pray a, a favour though because I wouldn't want such a big drop off in terms of distance um, if we just look at a couple of other key numbers uh, launch angle um, 17, 7, 17, 6 and 16, 8 so tricks are coming out a little bit lower uh, spin 5, 5, 5, 3 and 5, 1 um, so yeah spins fairly similar uh, average height 82, 87 and 82 so ping going a little bit higher um, and then if we just look at the uh, land angle 44.8, 45.4, uh, and then finally side 16 feet plus or minus 26 feet or 14 feet so yeah I mean in terms of the data for me it's definitely between ping and Shrixen um, in terms of looks definitely Shrixen uh, wins it for me uh, in terms of performance let's take a look speed was the same uh, sh tricks and launching a little lower spinning a touch low um, distance is the same in terms of performance for me ping wins that purely on um, it's a little higher spinning it's a little higher launching the land angles that little bit steeper so it's going to help me hold the green better um, it is a close call between tricks and, and ping uh, but ping just edges it okay so as i said i think this club's gone a little bit under the radar this year with the success of the i230 and the i525 last year but this is a top performing club ping i59 is the winner thanks always for watching guys uh do look out for some future videos if you did enjoy it please like and subscribe post any comments down below look forward to seeing you again very soon